Dramatic fall from grace of a Washington power player, former White House counsel John Michael Farron stands accused of nearly beating his wife to death. And now a jury has ordered him to pay her nearly $30 million. His money is gone and his freedom may be next. ABC's Paula Ferris has the story. He was a White House attorney in the George W. Bush administration. She, his successful wife and high-powered lawyer. He says to her, I'm killing you. And this morning, a Connecticut jury in a civil trial has awarded Mary Margaret Farron nearly $29 million after John Michael Farron allegedly attempted to beat her to death back in 2010. He put his hands around my neck and in the same motion, he tackled me to the floor. Could you raise your right hand? The verdict kept off an emotional trial. 20 witnesses, including Mary herself, taking the stand describing the alleged incident, which she claims was prompted by her refusal to drop her divorce papers and has left her with emotional and physical injuries. He was strangling me and uh, slamming my head into the floor. The 60-year-old chose to represent himself, then failed to show up in court for the trial. Even more bizarre, he emailed the court saying he was hospitalized, yet never explained why. He was basically saying to the jury, rule against me. The only question is how much? Those criminal charges include attempted murder and first-degree assault. That trial is expected to start next spring, and if convicted, he could spend 70 years behind bars. He now is facing very serious criminal charges. But you almost never see this kind of fall from grace. For Good Morning America, Paula Ferris, ABC News, New York.